so let's take a look at a few of our journals. We were supposed to be getting some, um... wasting my time with that. It looks like uh, it's a daily quest. So I'm just gonna abandon that. Um, let's go, before we do the Astronomer's Apprentice, let's go back to this Factotum and see what it tells us about our so-called future. It's right here in the Vale of Tears. Thing and find out. By the word of Sid, I am bound. No pronouncements can be furnished without proper statistics to analyze. Please provide the appropriate passphrase or present yourself to a clockwork apostle for immediate data collection. Prime sequence 11, 13, 17. Initializing. Reflecting. Reflecting. Unauthorized prophetic element engaged. Analyzing proximate subject. Determining wealth and social status. Permission to continue. Permission granted. Wealth and social status analysis complete. Indicates a poverty level income and the social status of a slave or indentured servant. Reflecting. Health and wellness analyzer engaged. Permission uh, to continue. Poverty level income? S slave? Servant? I don't know if I agree with that. Permission granted. Health and wellness analysis complete. Indicate a strong constitution and a robust physique. Life expectancy favorable, pending accident or injury. Reflecting. Prophetic inhibitor disengaged. Prophecy imminent. Okay, go ahead. Dreaming. One niche. Two niche. Prophecy complete. I see an island. A tower. Three princes. Darkness spreading across the land. I see a golden knight and an unexpected sacrifice. I see an end. Yeah, that doesn't sound great. Everything must perish. That is the way of all reality. But the end that I see, you can alter the outcome. The variables indicate a minuscule percentage point in your favor. So there is a way to change the future then? A chance. Lord Set and the Three Willing. Reflecting. Reflecting. Probabilities calculated. Odds generated. Demise certainty. 99.99%. And Somerset is the sequence of the words. <laughs> well, not too worried about that. Basically, it tells us we're gonna die. Alright, um, we're done with that. Now, let's go to... Let's go here and, uh, do the Astronomer's Apprentice.
the planisphere's right through this door. Astronomer! I found someone who can help us! Are you all right? Please, rest if you need it. I have maintained these stars for millennia. Do not concern yourself. Yes, much easier to explain now. This is the demonic planisphere where Sotha Seal's memories take the form of stars. We need your help to reclaim the stars that have fallen and place them back in the sky. If not, all shall be lost. What will be lost? All this knowledge! Sotha Seal's memories are our most important source of inspiration, of discovery. Without them, the Clockwork Apostles will be lost, stagnant and unguided. Please. For the sake of our most sacred knowledge, you must help! Alright, um, so how do we return the stars? Oh, thank you for understanding what this means to my order. I need you to gather the primary stars belonging to the points of our constellations. Once enough stars are returned to the rightful place, the rest should fall into ranks. Eventually. <laughs> so, how do I collect stars? With this! Now. This device has a very fancy, proper name, but I simply call it the Star Scooper. Use it to gather the stars you see floating around the halls, and bring it back here to the Astronomer. He'll know what to do next. Questions? Let's talk about this Astronomer. Who is he? Astronomer is the title given to the caretaker of the planisphere. Astronomer, stars, you know. The current Astronomer has been around almost as long as the Clockwork City has. The blessings of a god really can do wonders for your lifespan. So what's your relationship with him? Why, I'm his apprentice. Sorry, should have led with that. He only recently chose me as his replacement, though I'm not sure this is a position you can just retire from, if you catch my drift. I suppose even a god's blessing can only last so long. You seem young for such an important role. Oh, all a matter of perspective here in Clockwork, age and whatnot. I assure you I've always been quite diligent in my studies, and the astronomer says I show promise. Well, I mean, he hasn't outright said that to me, but I just get that feeling. Okay. I don't see any stars, actually, so... Here's the first star. Six stars. Six in the last ones are back here. Overthinking this, so this is back 
You're in for a real treat. Not many get to witness this. Oh dear, that's not good. That's not good at all. Sorry, but I have to go check on something. The astronomer will explain. That was actually quite bright. It actually hurt my eyes over here. Right, let's talk to the astronomer. Six stars refuse to answer my call, and the primary constellations remain incomplete. Their instability threatens the integrity of the entire planisphere. Unless returned, I fear all memories will be lost, even to the clockwork god himself. This guy looks like he's 10,000 years old. Um, so Sothasil will lose his memories, really? The Planisphere was created as an extension of Lord Set's consciousness. Connected, yet apart. An endless sky of divine knowledge, perfectly preserved. We must protect the Planisphere at all costs. We must help the stars remember. So what happened to the stars? Memories are fragile, easily broken, easily swayed. My powers of guidance and preservation are not so easily replicated. The cultists seek to control, but only corrupt. I must stay here to keep the constellations stable. It is up to you. So um, what must I do then? Go to the calibration guides located upon the platforms which surround us. Use them to guide the missing stars back to their rightful place in the sky. My apprentice will show you how. I see questions are burning within you. Ask, and I may answer. Well, not exactly. Only once, so who are you really? I am the astronomer. Keeper of the stars. A wheel that ever turns. It goes beyond my own mere flesh. Soon, my apprentice will receive this title. And I will take my final step upon this path. So when Amelie takes over, you'll die? I have upheld this divine task for millennia. My devotion may be unwavering, but my flesh is not. I must give this duty to another before my power fades. Only then will I allow myself to finally rest. See you later. <laughs> Why are we... yeah, somebody threw goo at us.
Yeah, this is not making sense. Here they are. Let me just scoop them up. And now, watch this. Right. They don't know where to go. If you can point out where they're supposed to be on the calibration guide, we can send them on their way. Let's see. The telescope is set to view the platform's associated constellation. The empty points are where the corrupted stars should be. stars have forgotten where they belong. Use the calibration guides on the floor to show them where to go. The matching constellation on the planetosphere sky will show you the way. In the meantime, I'll continue to keep the star stable. All right. This is a He has to con How do I even, oh, calibration guide use? What? Think of where the stars and the constellations aren't, not where they are. That's where you want to direct the corrupted stars to. kept a record of what was inside those stars. Let's have a look, shall we? A fragment in memory of Lord Set speaking to someone. This must have been what the cultists were looking for. Stewardship of my memories carries a high price, all of us. One that you must pay willingly. Wait, was that the astronomer? He was so young! And with hair! Not half bad looking, either. All right, let's go return the stars to the other constellations. to the mage constellation next.
Okay, so those are the ones we're missing. want to learn how to perform the spell. That's probably what they want. those two. Let's see what these stars held. Just a moment, let me concentrate. I understand. I'd sacrifice anything to serve you, my lord. Sacrifice? Well, that doesn't sound very good. <laughs> We've collected all the memory fragments we need. Let's head back to the Planisphere Center so we can watch the whole thing. I'm just gonna jump down. Now that we've returned the stars and recovered the memory fragments, the astronomer can use the nemograph here to play the full memory back. I'm rather curious about its contents. Well, that device can play so the cell's memories? We need to be able to reform memories at a moment's notice. After all, apostles often travel from the Brass Fortress to research Lord Set's thoughts. This nemograph translates the starlight into a visual form. And you said this one was a memory of the astronomer? I just know it's him. It looks like he's receiving some sort of boon from Lord Set, but I don't understand why that would be important to the cultists. I doubt you can easily replicate the powers of a god, even with the memory of the spell. Stewardship of my memories carries a high price all of us. One that you must pay willingly. I understand. I'd sacrifice anything to serve you, my lord. Even my memory. Wait, the sacrifice so be it. his memory? I'll leave you the knowledge of this spell to bestow upon your successor when the time comes. Of course, my lord, but will it hurt? You will not remember. No, it can't be. Now you know the truth. It is time. You never told me of this sacrifice. My life, yes, I'll give it. But my mind, my whole being... Speak with her. 
price was too high, she ran for it. <laughs> I know my duty. My whole life has been devoted to this path laid before me. I know the risks, the repercussions to the planisphere should I refuse, the repercussions to my god. Why then? Why am I so scared? Why do you why do you have to lose your memory though? Manipulating the stars requires severe concentration. They're easily corrupted by stray thoughts, rendering them useless. Not having a memory must help ease that burden. Do you think you could go through with it? The excitement of becoming an apostle, my frustration when so many doubted me, how nervous I was for my first kiss. To give it all away, I would lose more than my memories. I would lose myself. So is it worth the price? I know the astronomer's power is fading. I feel it. He needs to transfer his power, and soon. If he dies before another apprentice could be found... Planisphere needs me. My god needs me. Can I really be so selfish? I don't know. First of all, these guys are not gods, okay? I think I'm gonna tell her... Well, he's a god to her, you know. I mean... Alright, go through with it. You're right. It's too late to turn back now. People depend on me. My god depends on me. Would you come with me? I may not remember you being there, but it would be a comfort all the same. Okay. I've decided. I will become the next astronomer. I give myself willingly to serve the chrononymic will as it has seen fit. So be it. I'll start the process now. Take care of the planisphere. And yourself as well, Amelie. Finally, rest. Wow, that's gruesome. What was I? Oh, a visitor. <laughs> the mnemonic planisphere welcomes you, traveler. Due to the recent attack, we are not holding memory viewings. You'll have to return at another time. How strange. I feel a sense of gratitude towards you, though I'm not sure why. I helped put the missing stars back into the planisphere's sky. Ah, oh, so you have. You have the gratitude of the Clockwork Apostles. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must inspect the memories to see if they were damaged by the attack. You would be surprised how fragile they can be. Wow, she sounds so robotic, almost like she's a shell. So we're gonna get the astronomer's orbit. I thank you once more for aiding us in our time of need. May your thoughts be clear and your heart ever oiled. Hmm. I know we haven't met before, but I feel a sense of familiarity with you. Odd how you sometimes get that feeling with strangers. So why are there still stars roaming the halls? The cultists have corrupted many stars in their search for control. I need time to restore the memories and guide them to their proper place in the planisphere sky. Hopefully, it shall not take me too long. And the cultists? There's not much I can do at the moment. My focus must go towards tending to the corrupted stars and protecting the planisphere from further damage. Until the integrity of these sacred halls are upheld, the cultists will just have to wait. Okay. Well, that was, uh... Quite a huge sacrifice, so let's see, uh... What we got was not a memento, it was just a sash. Okay, so we're done with that. What's left here is next we need to head to the Everwand Wellspring. Good luck with your astronomy stuff. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize.
realize that uh that stopped it. Let's do this again. Okay, we're gonna take a break right here. We'll be right back with more Elder Scrolls Online. 